Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play World Waves 3. It has been a while since the last time I recorded a part. I've just not really had the time to set aside for actually recording. So, um, took a little bit to familiarize myself again with what the hell we were doing and what the hell was going on in the world. So, uh, we're trying to avoid what I believe is round three with France because apparently France has not gotten the memo that they cannot fight us. And that we can't really fight them. Not so much because we don't have the capability, but... Well, I mean, technically it is because we don't have the capability, but it's not because we're unwilling. It is simply because they don't have basing rights where we have sufficient basing rights to fight them. And, I mean, even in, in India, they don't have particularly large basing rights. They have 50 compared to our 20, which, I mean, is, you know, more, but... Meh? doesn't really matter so yeah also I am surprised Djibouti is the larger port I really am for some reason I feel like Madagascar should be the larger port between the two but uh okay sure whatever so yeah we're trying to avoid round three with them because it's just not worth the effort but um yeah they want to fight us unfortunately so there's not a whole hell of a lot we can do about that if they, well, you know, if they decide to actually come at us. Um, oops, something in my timer started before we go too far and I forget. Let's see, improved main guns. We can improve the secondaries. I just need dual purpose. Give me dual purpose and I will be a very, very happy camper. But let's go ahead and try to upgrade the nations, if the game will let us. Is that everything? Uh, do I want to... Yeah, let's, uh... Let's dual turret those. Now, I believe, yes, okay, so do we add tertiaries? How many tertiaries can I have? I can do 10, dual purpose those. That gives us 10 heavy AA factor. We'll need to scale back on the medium AA, but that's fine. I think I will give you one heavy AA director. And then we'll scale down to 6 medium AA and 2 light AA. Oh, I got... Okay, I didn't realize we had dual purpose um, 2 gun turrets for 3 and 4 inch guns. Which actually, the question is, do we do 4 inch guns then? They're a little bit better, but they are heavier. Hmm. Can we get the weight to work? I don't think we can. Question is also, do we maybe switch the armament around? Do less 5-inch guns and focus more on the heavy AA factor? We could probably do that. It would save us a lot on weight. And that gives us 37 heavy AA factor. We will probably want to give them more ammo on the tertiaries in that case, but we could do that. 28 to 37 to 41 to 44 to 47. Hmm. Do we give you four heavy or yeah, four AA directors or no? Because the biggest jump is zero to one. Zero to two is not that great. That's a jump of what? Five? No, four. And then three, and then another three. Hmm. If I give you one, then I can do 10 medium AA. Otherwise, I have to have a little bit of light AA, which, I mean, light AA is okay, but it's also limited usefulness. 
And I think generally speaking, medium AA is more helpful. Now, do I want to give you a ton of extra ammo? I'm, I'm inclined to say yes. Let's, you know, since 250 rounds per gun is no longer the cap, I think it's 500 now, isn't it? Right? Yeah. I can almost give you 500 rounds. And if I can shave off a little bit of weight somewhere enough to do it, I would be inclined to do it. And yeah, we can't remove... Well, we can't decrease the armor of the conning tower. We can only remove it, which I don't want to do. So, okay, we're not going to give you the full 500 rounds. We'll give you like 450 or something. Okay, you're still a little overweight with 450, so maybe not 450. 400. 400 rounds per gun is still pretty good, I think. Uh, I don't... Th oh, we do have catapults. Shit. That's an upgrade I want to do. I don't... I, okay. Um... Hmm. This changes things a little bit because I want to have that scout capability. 300 rounds. There we go. That works for me. I think. There's the brand new Nishans. Um, let's go ahead and toss... Whoops. Uh, rebuild. Toss the rest of those in as well. Yep. We're going to lose money, so I'm going to need to halt something for a few turns. A couple of things for a few turns. So now let's finish construction, which is helpful for freeing up a little bit of budget. Okay, you still can't. Uh, yeah, no, we need to build up our treasury, so we're going to halt the uh, Kinugasa, or, well, the rebuild on the Kinugasa. Italy wants to buy... Sure, Italy, you know what? You're our ally. I'm willing to give it to you. Well, as long as you're buying it, and you are, so, sure. Tensions are... Oh, goddamn. Um, no, sorry. Uh, Italy, while I don't mind fighting France, I'd also kind of like to actually have an opportunity to rebuild our navy because we've got quite a bit of stuff that needs to happen. So we're going to, I'll take the prestige hit. We're going to mediate to lower tensions. New fighters available. Uh... They're all worse than the Nanzan. So we're not going to go ahead and bother with those. Although I probably should have requested a new set, but whatever. Let's see. Well, yeah, you know, clearly we need to invade North Korea. Well, excuse me, Northern Korea. Technically, it's not North Korea. Orders restored. It is now under our administration. That, of course, raised tensions, but that's fine. That's fine. We'll survive. Now, if I could just retake Wei Hai Wei, I would be very happy. I would love to go to a With China game. Just let me do it. It'll be a quick war, quick in and out. Maybe a year. They also probably would stop being communist because you probably have to beat their ass enough, quickly enough to force a revolution which is annoying because then probably i'll lose more places so maybe we don't do that route okay automated fuse issues working on that that's wonderful yes let's try again i want range and speed thank you nope i don't got the money for it also i Probably should have sent that in to rebuild so we could apply the armor bonuses, but meh, whatever. 
Already skipped it. I'm sure that won't come to bite us in the ass in the future. Tensions are high. Mediate to try to lower tensions again. Why did tensions go down with China when I try to lower tensions with uh, France? I don't want to fight France again, game. It's not going to be a fun war because I literally can't do anything outside of maybe send ships to the Mediterranean to help our friend. And I'll be honest, I don't really think they need it, nor do I care to. But I'm going to have to activate the fleet and all that jazz. Oh, somebody's planning a coup. I'm sorry. The Navy is loyal to the Constitution and will not support any illegal political activities. The coup fails. Your loyalty to the legal government strengthens the standing of the Navy and increases your prestige considerably. So we go from 60 to... So we jump through a million events. Maybe. Come on. Sixty-two. I don't think two prestige is considered a considerable game, but uh, you do you, I suppose. I was expecting like at least ten. Take me to seventy. Oh shit, we got a ton of money as well, though. Although I think that's just because stuff finished rebuilding more so than anything else. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we got the Shikashima still. Yeah, eh, we got to get rid of those. Uh, Miyoko's. Got some fun stuff to do with you now. Also, although I can't do your rebuilds because this changed since you were built. And so until we get uh, technology, I think it's in the 30s or 40s. I literally can't do anything with the Miyokos, which is annoying. Let's see, the uh, Yoshinos, what can we do with you? Oh yeah, can't do anything with you. You guys are the busted ones. Okay then, let's look at the Minikazes. These are the first you know, halfway decent destroyers available to us. Well, are they the first? Do I have any thousand ton? No. No, we don't. Okay, yeah. We also need to rebuild our destroyer fleet because it is not doing too well. Depth charge throwers and all that jazz. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do the expensive rebuild to give you guys a little bit of extra stuff. Question is, do I give you mine sweeping gear though? Both are useful, but for different reasons. But if I give you both, you get a penalty to ASW. But your guys' primary job is not necessarily to be ASW. Do we do it? I'm inclined to say yes. Because ASW is not necessarily your main job. But I certainly wouldn't complain about you guys being able to do minesweeping and ASW. Because there are benefits to it. I think we're going to do it. I acknowledge we're going to lose half of our ASW value by giving them mine sweeping gear. And it it is pricey in terms of weight. But I, I honestly think to an extent we benefit more with it than without it. Now, can I give you guys more tubes i can just barely so now you have six torpedoes as opposed to four I'm not going to give you rebuilds those are not fun when they explode inevitably i do have dual gun turrets but i can't i don't have the weight to do that and yeah, we'll round you up with a little bit of light AA. Do I give you light A or do I give you medium? Uh, medium is heavy. Medium is very heavy. Jesus. Yeah, you're just going to get light AA just to help protect yourself. Yeah. 
There we go. Now, did I design any new destroyers? I I feel like we did, but I'm not 100% certain on that. We have the Shinokaze. Is that the latest one? 1924. Yes. Question, though. Is it the best we can have? And the answer to that appears to be a no. Can I do 2,000? I'm assuming I can do 2,000. Yes, I can. Wonderful. Why would I do 1,800 when I can do 2,000? Um, don't armor the turret at all. It's not helpful. It really isn't. Uh, for depth charge throwers, going to give you mine sweeping gear as well. Again, I acknowledge you get a penalty for it. I don't care. Yeah, I like this. I like this very much. Uh, do I give you two fire control or just the one? Do you need redundancy? Hmm. suppose that is a good question. Do you need redundancy? Do you really? Does it help you? It probably does. But it also probably doesn't, because the reality is you shouldn't be getting shot at. If you do, you got bigger problems. Yeah, we're not going to give it to you. You'll be fine. Well, I say that. You should be getting shot at. It's kind of your job to get in close, drop a good torpedo spread, and just absolutely destroy anything that gets hit by the torpedoes. But you shouldn't be relying on your guns. Is really what I should be saying. You shouldn't be relying on the guns. Oh, I can dual purpose your... If I go down to four guns, we can dual purpose it. It gives you a little bit. We're not going to do that, though. We're going to stick with five-inch guns. Because that's the tried and true for a destroyer. Let's go ahead and get those set up. Now, question is, do you have your... Do you have aircraft? Wonderful. The Yashimas, they have their aircraft too. Wonderful. The Awate has aircraft. The Yakimo doesn't have aircraft. Also, apparently they have not uh, quite hit the point where they're considered needing to go through a refit. Apparently that's somewhat surprising, but okay. Actually, do I just go down to... Downgrade your secondaries to... I'm inclined to do that, honestly. Uh, ooh, do we refit you in the U.S., though? Or do we refit you at home? I don't think it matters, really. Yeah, I don't think it actually matters. Other relations with the U.S. are fine, so maybe we... we yeah, we refit you there. Let you do it there. You'll survive. And, I mean, I don't think we're going to get any benefits out of it, but it doesn't hurt to at least do it. Now, I'm assuming the U.S. has catapults. Looks like they do. Wonderful. If they didn't, that would make this a little bit harder to do. 19... It's 25. And it's a plus 2, and then a plus 3, and then another plus 2. I think I'm, I'm inclined to give you just the one because I don't think you really benefit enough from the others right now. Give you more ammo. Give you the full 500. Because I have ammo to spare, or, well, weight to spare, rather. Yep, we're going to go ahead and do it like this. We're going to let the U.S. refit this. And that's going to be done in six months. And Jesus Christ, it is expensive. We don't have the money. Well, at least not to do both. 
So let's rebuild the Yakimo itself. We'll send it off, we'll lose a little bit of money for another turn or two. And then we can send the sister ship out. Relations between Germany and France are high, that's fine with me. Nope, not building that right now, thank you very much. Uh, send the Azuma now as well. We will again lose money for a little bit, but that's fine. It's not much. And then we'll be golden for a little while. I don't know why the hell tensions with uh, Russia skyrocketed. What the hell happened there? Game, you didn't give me the pop-up saying our spies report that there are rumors Russia is about to declare war on us. Better question is, what spies? We're not spending any intel. Of the, well, we're not, yeah, we're not spending any budget on trying to get... What the hell? Oh, no, whoops, I'm... <clears throat> I'm an idiot. Uh, looks like tensions with Russia just jumped because why the hell not? In fact, the last time we have anything in the filters for Russia are, is December 1928. That was a few months back. They jumped on their own for literally no reason. Yeah, I don't, I don't get why tensions with Russia skyrocketed. Did they make an alliance or something and I didn't notice? Nope. They have no allies. And we have, you know, not the greatest relations. So I, I don't know why. Tensions jumped with Russia just because. Oh, uh, yep. Nope. This is very important. I need that budget. Thank you very much. Of course, tensions with France go up because France says, oh, how dare you promote your steel industry? France, what are you going to do about it? You literally can't fight me. Let's see. Sorry, Nakajima. Kawanishi's beating you out just a little bit. On the range. Uh, well, excuse me, not the range. I was looking at the wrong column. I'm an idiot. Um, okay, so Nakajima has a new thing. It's got quite a bit better range, but... A little bit slower than the current model. Less firepower as well, but more maneuverable and a little bit tougher. I'll be honest, range is more important to me than speed, and only, you know, a max speed decrease of one, I'll survive. And I'm sure this design will get a few, uh, you know, upgrades over time. Aircraft type, let's see, what do I need to get something new out for? Uh, float planes. Out. Uh, that Kawasaki, I think, can be obsoleted. Torpedo bomber. Um, I think we can obsolete the Aichi. Got a new fighter coming out. Our medium bombers from 1926. Uh, so you'll be complaining about it next year. So I think let's get ahead of the curve and let's try to get a new medium bomber ready. Mm. We'll push for an international force. The U.S. ignores it and completes their occupation of the Dominican Republic. Auction fuel torpedoes, those are nice. The U.S. is a bit upset at us because how dare you not let us take over the Dominican Republic. I don't know why they wanted it. Fuck, France and Russia signed an alliance, so now we'll actually have to do a fight. Handle it quietly and discreetly because I really don't feel like fighting them. So we're going to have to start spying on Russia now. Also raise our budget a little bit on France so we get a bit better intel. 
improved quadruple turrets. It's going to be a while until we maybe potentially use quadruple turrets. Okay, now I have a fair bit of budget, so let's see if we can actually get the... It was you, right? The Awami, not the Tosa. Yeah. But you have a smaller belt. Why do you have a smaller belt? Why did I give you a smaller belt? I don't know. I legitimately do not know. And I wish I could have both of these designs up to compare them side by side because I really don't know what the hell happened. Because for by all means, the Awami should be just a better version of the Tosa that was designed previously. Which means it should theoretically have at least the same belt, if not better. But evidently that was not the case. Evidently I ended up giving it one less inch of belt armor for some reason. Did I give you more ammo on the secondaries? That might be why. That's the only thing I could think of, is I gave you more ammo. Because otherwise you should be the same. But whatever. Uh, how much is this month? Okay, I can only build one. That's fine. Let's, let's queue up the Awami itself. And we'll get that out in 24 years. Because that is exactly how long it feels like it will take. Oh, God damn it. Oh, Jesus. Okay, this will probably tip us over to war. Okay. One of our cruisers has run aground on the shore of a minor nation while performing an illicit intelligence operation. They threaten to impound the ship. What is our reaction? Uh, demand they release the ship and send a strong squadron to underline the point. Nope, that just pissed off Russia more. That's fine. Well, and Britain. But I think we'll survive. Well, Italy, you know, I tried to lower tensions, but evidently it ain't working, so we're going to go ahead and say, fuck it, let's go to war with France for the third time. Um, You're not telling me how much that's going to cost, in reality, because I don't know what the cost is of the Nataka class. I don't recall it, and I can't pull it up. I'm going to say, screw it, excellent, we'll take the offer. And we'll figure it out from there. An uprising in China. We'll send a strong force to safeguard our interest. And we're at war yet again with France. Jesus Christ, really? Are we just trying to go to war with all of Europe? Are, are we really? I don't want to go to war with all of Europe. We, I mean, we can, but I don't want to. New medium bombers available. Nakajima, I'm liking this thing. Ooh, but Kawanishi, they figured out how to slap a medium-sized torpedo on here. Hmm. Well, I say a medium-sized torpedo. I, I don't think that's correct, so... I believe the way, if I recall correctly, the way this indication works. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Oops, let's get that back up. H, M, or L means one torpedo at heavy, medium, or light load. If two values, the aircraft can carry two torpedoes at the heavier load. So, it's medium load, so it uses this range of 253. Uh, but I believe torpedoes are all, you know, the same capability. I believe this is still the same as our torpedoes that we have, like, on our destroyers and stuff. The only difference is how it determines its range. So, 253 with that. 
but I'm so I uh, I still love that range. I really do. And medium bombers can be used as scouts for land based um, aircraft. So you know, I mean, they're the greatest at it, not really. But they don't really have much in the way of purposes. I'm going to be completely honest. Medium bombers are not the greatest. They're really not. Um, level bombing against ships. Yeah, no, you're not doing a whole hell of a lot with that stuff. I really think that medium bombers, their main advantage is just that, like, uh, not float plane scouts, the flying boats, they can have a lot of range. And so they can do a great job as scouts. That's about it. So yeah, we're going to go with the Nakajima because I like having a range of 485, basically, when being used in a scout configuration. Oh, okay, we're officially saying the war is actually with Russia, not with France. That's fine. Does it make a difference? No. Uh, we're not going to bother, I think, uh, pulling the Shikishimas out of Mothball because they're not doing anything. Uh, put the sub hunters on trade protection. Is that enough? Yes. Okay. Although I need more. I very clearly need more. So we're going to try to get some more later. Okay. Now here's the thing. I can't fight Russia. Well, no, that's not true. I can't fight Russia. I just can't invade anything. Um, everything they have here. Actually, no, I can invade um, Kamchatka if I really wanted to. It's pushing our range, but theoretically we could if we wanted to. I don't care to, because what am I going to do invading Kamchatka? And that just means now I have to defend the North Pacific as well. Although, I, you know, I... Uh, yeah. Hmm. It's one of those where there's not really much in the way of benefits to invading Kamchatka. There really aren't. It's an extra place to defend, and it doesn't have anything going for it. It also doesn't really give us anything when it comes to invading other places. <clears throat> the reality is, given the opportunity, I'm probably not going to be planning to invade the eastern Aleutian Islands. I'm really not. If I ever end up in a war against the U.S., which even though technically we went to war with one time, last time we went to war with France, um, we've managed to generally avoid pissing off the U.S. Although then again, it's only, you know, the late 20s right now. So we'll see how things go once we get into the 30s and 40s. But yeah, so that's that's a bit of an issue. Well, not an issue. It's just that there's there's nothing we can do really. If Russia sends a fleet to the northern, to, uh, excuse me, to Northeast Asia, okay, we can sink it, and that's about it. I don't expect this war to be particularly interesting or engaging, um, unless we decide to station our, or you know, send a contingent of our fleet to support our Italian allies in the Mediterranean, uh, which I I don't really think I plan to do. I don't like fighting in the Mediterranean. If we ever play as someone like Italy or Austria-Hungary, or even to a lesser extent Spain, I'm going to absolutely hate the Mediterranean at this point in time where we are in the game where aircraft exist. I'm of the belief that if you play as anybody who's based out of the Mediterranean, or at least the Mediterranean is a major um, yeah, combat zone for you, you want to conquer as much of the Mediterranean as you possibly can before the invention of aircraft. Particularly before they become widespread. It's not too bad when they first come out, but give it a few years and it, it becomes torture. It really does. Because there is nowhere in the Mediterranean, for the most part, where you're actually safe from aircraft. There really aren't. Especially once you get to the late game. Even in Roll the Waves 2 without jets. Oh, I say that. Technically, uh, Roll the Waves 2 technically had jets. They just weren't like a separate class design. It did technically happen. and It was reflected as an increase in maintenance cost for planes. 
as well as basically unlocking an artificial block on uh, things like max speed and whatnot. But nonetheless, in, in, especially in the late game, the Mediterranean is a terrible place to fight. It's almost as bad as the Baltics. I say almost because I think the Baltics are still the worst place to fight it once aircraft become invented. And again, especially in the late game. Because you get all these air bases along the coast sending out scouts and dive bombers, torpedo bombers, and now in Rule the Waves 3, jet strike fighters and all that jazz. And oh my god, it's just a mess. I actually do like that they separated the Baltics to its own sea zone. Because then you can actually avoid it if you're playing somebody like Germany. At least to an extent. Now, one thing we need to double check here. How are relations going? Germany is at a 10 with France, so they'll probably go to war with France soon, which is good and bad, because we're going to go to war with France soon. I guarantee you they're going to declare war on us. But our issue is going to be that they're also on the verge of war with Britain. I don't really want to fight Britain, even though we're not too far behind Germany when it comes to tensions with Britain. I really don't want to fight Britain again, at least not right now. We'll take war reps against uh, France and Russia. Maybe we'll end up with Russia flipping communist. I don't know. That doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. They'll still make alliances with whoever the hell they damn well please. But let's see how this goes. Russia technically has some stuff here, but it's basically nothing. They are generally smart and realize they have no capability of really holding a an Asia um, presence, so they don't really seem to station any contingent of their fleet here. Italy joins the war against France. Theoretically, I should probably send a couple of ships to Southeast Asia. Doesn't need to be a large contingent, just something. Um, I'm thinking the Yakimos, maybe? I could send the, the Asao. But I, is the Asao the ship that I can't pull up? No, the Asao was, I am able to pull up. Do I send the Asal? I mean, it is the only cruiser fleet that is actually, you know, its own independent fleet, and so has a couple of ships. See Daisy, let's go ahead and get stuff here. Don't mind me, I just kind of sort of forgot about this stuff. Luckily, the uh, Mochizukis and the Shinokazes are fairly similar, so I should be able to combine those two without any major incidences. There we go, that's fixed. Uh, let's see, do I have anything else I can add anywhere? Not really. I can add a Nitaka to you, which you're a scout division for Battle Division 1, which is the Shikishimas, which aren't going to do anything. So maybe we should reorganize that. Do we send the battle cruisers on? You know what? Fuck it. We'll send the battle cruisers on their own to Southeast Asia. They'll be fine. It's not like France can build bring a massive fleet anyway, so it's it's fine. It's fine. We'll survive, I'm sure. Woot. Negative one quality 19-inch guns. Are we gonna use them? God no. Also, speaking of, let me go ahead and get that filled in now. Where is there you are? 
auto add. So did you actually bring stuff here or is my Intel just that far off? I'm assuming my Intel is just that far off because I really want to assume you're not actually sending stuff here. See, Katie Jojima of CA Kako, above average aggressive damage control expert, has shot Katie Maito unassigned in a hunting accident. Maito is expected to make a more or less full recovery. Rumor has it that there was some rivalry over a woman. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. Uh, he's above average. That's not saying much. But at least I know what he's capable of compared to Maito. Maito's also unassigned, so, you know. Take that as you will. Dive bombers. Wonderful. Billy joins the war against Russia. Russia does actually have some stuff here, but it is a handful of destroyers. If only I could, you know, save us some money. Oh, shit, you're going to actually fight me. I was expecting you to just decline. Again. But I'll take a fight. Oh shit, it's at night. Okay, what do we got? We have the Nishans. And we have you guys now. Cruiser Division 3 is the main one. And you are heading east. Or excuse me, west, not east. Oh good, daybreak is about to happen. So this is actually just fine. Send out the scouts. Um, you are nowhere near the right location for where the enemy is likely to pop up, but I can't do anything with you for now. Usually, whatever the lead division is, is going to head in the right direction, which is, yeah, the third cruiser division. So we'll just, I don't know where the hell you're going. You deployed these guys facing the wrong way, but that's okay. We'll survive. Once daybreak comes, we'll see them, whatever they brought, which shouldn't be much. As far as our intel claims, they only have destroyer. Oh, well, found them already. Uh, shit. Turn out, and uh, you try to get up here so you can do something helpful. Yep, just a handful of destroyers. We kind of need day to break so we can actually see them. That's still a little bit of a ways out. Shit, the nation took a torpedo. That sucks. Uh, you got a little bit of flooding, but not too bad. We'll just sort of hope for a little bit that you... Uh, Take care of it without too many issues. Sao took a torpedo now, too. Uh, Nishin still has flooding. Oh, shit. Sao has a lot of flooding. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and, I think, send the destroyers after them. Fuck it. It's easier. Cruisers, go rest. You're not doing much. Our destroyers can take care of these guys, hopefully without too many issues. That's one down. I'll have these two chase down that one. Uh, Isonami, break off. Okay, you've dealt with your flooding. You still have a little bit of flooding. But that's fine. Yep, go ahead and interport. Minimize your damage as much as possible. 
Okay, that one's dead in the water, which particularly with the destroyers is a nice good way to indicate that they are certainly going to be dead because they just don't have the tonnage to really recover. But also, they don't generally recover anyway, most ships. Even, you know, carriers and battleships and stuff don't often recover. Okay, another one dead in the water. And they're all done. We win. Annoyingly, they did quite a bit of damage to our armored cruisers, but we'll survive. Uh, don't let them off lightly. Continue operations until we secure total victory. Russia seems to be bringing quite a bit of a fleet now. Here we go. I say it's quite a bit of a fleet. Attack any ships in general. What is this? Sink any two enemy ships and shit. It's with night approaching, so that's fun. Already spotted them. Saves me a bit of time. Well, spotted something. It's probably not a combat vessel. Spoke too soon. It's a combat vessel. However, it is now dusk, right? Oh no, it is actually considered night. Oh yeah, that this would be like dusk. Okay, so we get to try to do this at night, and I question the sanity of our commanders because our guys do not do too hot at night. God damn, that is a... Oh, fuck. You guys have torpedoes, right? You do. Wonderful. Oh, that's a destroyer. Okay, maybe don't fire your torpedo at that thing. But I found you a CL you can fire a torpedo at. Uh, that didn't hit. Who are you? You are the Hatsuki. Or Hatsuyuki, rather. Yeah, that one did not have a fun time with that. Oh, is that a battle cruiser, you say? Come on, get to the battle cruiser. Uh, you guys turn off. Battle cruiser. Give me battle cruiser blood. Get out of the way, Hatsuyuki. Shit. Okay, well, we lost the Yakumo. That sucks, but, um, crap. You guys have your torpedoes on the other side. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, yeah, Yakumo's sinking. That, I, I know, I'm sorry. That, that, that saddens me greatly. But um, also, uh, sadly, we missed the torpedo run. That that does actually greatly annoy me that we missed that torpedo. Um, I'm going to tell you not to fire yours. Also, I don't know which side your torpedo is on. Starboard. Don't think you have the right heading for... Don't fire your torpedo. Go. Get in close. You can do it. I know you can do it. I don't think those are going to hit, though. No, because he turned off at just the right time. But I think these ones will. 
boom, two torpedoes, dead in the water, battle cruiser. Could have gone much smoother, but um, I'll survive. Put it down without the Yakimo sinking, but oh well. Um, you're going to break off. You're going to head to port as well. So that battle cruiser should sink. This is why I don't like night battles. Until you get radar. Yep, okay. Mission considered completed. Probably because we sunk a destroyer or something. Or a light cruiser. Just something weak like that. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay, never mind. Turn around. We're going to go and consider this mission completed. We sunk a battle cruiser and we completed the objective. Let's get the hell out of here. Because I don't know what the hell that stuff is, and I do not wish to try to figure it out right now. At least not while it's night. Is that a bunch of merchants? I really have a hard time believing that that's a bunch of merchants. I think it's a bunch of destroyers in actuality. Yeah, I mean, if day was close by, I would do it, but it's not, so we're going to get the hell out of here. God. Okay, I'm going to have to take control of you because you clearly, you're running away instead of just powering through and getting away. There you go. Now just widen the gap so that you're safe and then we can get out of here. What the hell are you doing? I don't know what the Obro is doing, but it's doing its thing. That could have gone much better, but... I'm going to attribute that largely to just the fact that this is a night raid and we do not do well at night. But we sung a battle cruiser and a light cruiser. Oh, damn, seven destroyers. I didn't realize we damaged that many. I'll take it, though. Yes, let's develop a dive bomber. Will we use it anytime soon? Probably not. Uh, France lost a Corvette while Italy lost a light cruiser. I don't think that's a fair trade, Italy. In the notion between Russian and Italian navies. Again, Italy, that's not really a fair trade. Russia lost a destroyer. You lost a light cruiser. Uh, I'm pretty sure you know which one is more expensive. Ah, oh, damn. Relations between Germany and France simmered down a little bit. Oh, shit. Russia is sending a large fleet. Um, I don't think we're going to progress the next turn this part because uh, that'll toss us into a large fight, and I don't really feel like having us try to pick up in the middle of a fight. So, uh, yep. I think we're going to go ahead and just end this part here. Uh, a little bit short, but not too much. 
And I will see you all next time where uh, we continue this fight and hopefully it doesn't drag on too long because we don't quite have the money. Um, yeah. I would need to pause the Awami, which I really don't want to do, but we might just have to do that so we're not losing money every single turn. At least we'll wait for the Natakas to finish, and then once the Natakas are built, we'll be good to go there. Uh, that's the Takachiho. The Takachiho? I didn't realize you were still around. For some reason, I thought you guys were all sunk. But no, we still have the Akashi. Um, it's considered a fair crew quality, but I don't know why, but they have a shit ton of stars. Take that as you will, because I don't really know what those stars mean, and I've never found out. Ever. Because they do not reflect crew quality. Because again, as evidence here, it only has fair. And if we look at the Chioda, it's elite. But the same number of stars, I believe. If anyone happens to know what the stars mean, please do tell me, because I've never figured it out. I'm pretty sure they go up and down as... Uh, more or less just as the game pleases, because I don't think they count, like, kills or anything. I mean, can we check that? I don't think actually kills get attributed to an individual ship. Yeah, I don't, I don't think kills get attributed to an individual ship. Just looking at the, uh... Ship history. None of them seem to specifically say, you know, credited with kill of whatever. So I don't know. I I have never found out what the hell the stars mean. They presumably mean something. Otherwise, why would they be there? Even if it's not something that affects gameplay, they presumably affect something. Because otherwise, there's no reason to show them. Now, you know what, just to round out the part, I suppose we can go ahead and say, hey, what can we do with building a brand new armored cruiser? Deck extended armor, well, I mean, it shouldn't be anyway, game. Less torpedo protection than we allow. Well, we can't have that now, can we? How big is the Miyoko? 19,000, because that's the max you can build for these things. And that's, well, actually, I think it's 19,500. Actually, I think it's 19,900, right? Yeah, 19,900. Okay, curiosity, what are the options here? We're going to go ahead and give you an aircraft. Nope. Give me a... There we go. That one works. Got to remember, A and Y cannot be uh, increased, but we can superimpose these. Nine and a half inches of belt armor here. Unit machinery, because that's nice to have. Two inch secondaries. Topside limit exceeds, really? Oh yes, I suppose it does. I always add the AA guns last, but the game doesn't do it that way. Um, 110 rounds per gun. Uh, five inch conning tower, I think, is sufficient. We can't quite squeeze out getting the belt to uh, theoretically encompass everything. Because we can't do a 10-inch belt, which is what would be necessary for that to be capable to be done. So, 2,000 to 20,000 yards is our immunity zone. We're using, oh, okay, yeah. So technically we are using a 10.5 inch belt 
thickness, but this is, you know, 10.578, and that 0 0.078 really matters for that. So, no joy there. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get, add the AA now. go and then let's see about increasing the number of rounds per gun on the secondaries i like that and that still leaves us with a little under 500 weight i'm almost inclined to say let's do it i really am it's a bit of a funky design though because we are using quad superimposed guns which look weird if i'm being honest they really do they look very weird. Can we... Nope, we can't eke out 30 knots. Okay. Not unless I sacrifice some other stuff, which, I mean, we could do. We could do it. Uh, we're not, but we could. Well, actually, if I give you Box Magazine, we could do it. But do I want to give Box Magazine to an armored cruiser? As a reminder, belt and deck is halved in some areas. So there will be parts of the ship which will have... What is that? I assume you still round up. I would think. I could be wrong on that, but I, I assume it would still round up. So I'm not quite sure off the top of my head what 9.5 is when you split it in half. I suppose I can check that real quick. I can... So 4.75, so you probably round that up to 5, assuming you you follow normal rounding rules. I don't know if they floor it. If they floor it, then it will round down to 4.5, presumably. Well, actually, you know, if they floor it, technically it would round down to 4, unless they specifically tell it that if it, it's above a certain value to round to 4.5. It really depends on how the code is set up, but I'd assume it would follow normal rounding rules, so it would probably treat it as 5 inches of belt armor, which isn't the worst, honestly. It really isn't. I'm inclined to say, you know what, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Um, that leaves me with a shit ton of extra weight I gotta figure out what to do with, because... Eh. We don't have diesel yet. No, oh, shit, we do have diesel. Didn't realize. When did we get diesel? And that's only the 30s. That can't be right. I can't possibly have diesel in the 30s. For ships? Really? God, this is what happens when you get long breaks between recording sessions. Um, yeah, so diesel is heavier, um, as noted. However, if you want to increase the range of your stuff, diesel has benefits. Um, gas turbine has those same benefits, if I recall correctly. Yeah, if I recall correctly, gas turbine has those exact same benefits. The biggest difference between gas turbine and diesel is that gas turbine is even better when it comes to weight, but it increases cost quite a bit. Um... At least in theory, it's supposed to. I don't actually know if it really makes a big difference, but theoretically it does. But okay, we got diesel. I didn't realize we had diesel. Otherwise, I probably would have refitted some of our stuff to have diesel because I like diesel. As a benefit, diesel is also better at acceleration compared to other options. Um, so, you know, oil and turbine is significantly better weight compared to the various coal options but diesel is heavier than oil and turbine but you get better acceleration in exchange so when, obviously your ships slow down when they have to make a turn and then they take a little bit to get back up to speed with diesel the amount of time it takes for them to get back up to speed decreases because they got the better acceleration we're gonna do it we're going to do it. You know what? Fuck it. We're going to do it. We're going to build this thing. A 30 knot heavy cruiser, 19,900 tons with 
God, that is such a weird amount of guns. It really is. That is such a weird configuration for the main guns. I do not like it in the slightest. But we can do it, so why the hell not? <laughs> if I could do all quads, I would, but uh, that's a little ways out. But yeah, so that's uh, 12 guns in the weirdest configuration physically possible. Uh, 24 secondaries, 4-inch guns because we don't have 5-inch dual purpose. Uh, 500 rounds per gun because can never have too much ammo. Uh, no tertiaries because we don't care to have that weight. I don't think 3-inch tertiaries would benefit us significantly. Seaplane helicopter hangar, 2 air capacity, single catapult, uh, nothing special here. 9.5-inch belt, 2-inch belt extended, 2-inch deck, 2-inch deck extended, 5-inch conning tower, 5-inch turrets, 2-inch turret top, and a 2-inch secondary gun. Yeah, I like that. I, I, I like the Takao. I really do. Do we want to spend the money on designing it to probably just never build it? Because let's be real here. By the time we get around to probably having the money to try to build it, we're going to be having various improvements that have occurred. Such as maybe the ability to have triple gun A and Y turrets. And in that case, that's an extra two guns to take us to 15, potentially. Or maybe even the ability to just quad everything and have 16 guns. Oh, I love um, God, what would you refer to? I, I guess you would just refer to it as 4x4. Four four. Um, armored cruisers, or heavy cruisers, rather. I really do. I love them. Uh, they're not admittedly very useful because you kind of get the ability to do that a bit late. And you're probably not going to get too many fights in my experience by the time you get that. And then by the time you do start getting fights again, uh, missiles have been invented. And while the missiles in the early game aren't particularly great, they have limited fire capabilities, all that jazz... Yeah, we're probably not going to get much use out of those 4x4 heavy cruisers, but I still love them. I really still love them. I like them. They look nice. They When they do get into a fight, they can absolutely wreck shit because 16 10-inch shells, or yeah, well, not necessarily 10-inch shells, but 10-inch caliber shells uh, firing at you, yeah, that's going to hurt when they hit. Especially since by that point, you're also getting like electronic fire control and everything. So your fire control is actually good. Um, for a cock rifle, I think I'd have to look at it again when we're in a battle. I don't recall if director gets you neutral and improved director gets you a bonus or if improved director gets you neutral. And then everything after improved director gets you a bonus. I don't recall off the top of my head. It's one of the two. I think director might be when you get neutral on fire control for hit calculations. And I think everything under that has a penalty. I think it's like a minus 30, minus 20, minus 10, then neutral. And then a plus 10, plus 20, plus 30. I'm trying to think if there's anything above the plus 31. And I think it's a plus 30. I actually don't recall if it is a plus 30. It might not be. I'd have to go and pull up one of my other campaigns that's further along and see what they have. But yeah, no, screw it. We're going to go and design this Takao. Three months, that's going to take some of our money, and we will probably never build the Takao because, like I said, we just don't have the money. But that'll be it for this part. I will see you all next time. Until then, goodbye and farewell.